Hello everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Art Corner. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be my video for the end of the month to see what I got done coloring. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. One disclaimer that I want to put out there is that due to it not being the 30th, I usually wait. Uh, for everyone to turn in their group body colors before I film, but due to family matters, I'm needing to do it today. So I will do a slideshow for the group body colors, my hashtags that I host on Instagram. So look for that to be up probably on the first so that I can include everyone's pages because I know some people need to wait through the very end of the month in order to get through their pages. I totally understand that. So let's go ahead and put this pile where I can start. So the first book that I have, let me see. I'll just tilt it so you don't get shined on by the light. This is a buddy color that I did with Dusty Coloring. And for this book, it's Coloring with Your Octopus by Brian Kessinger. And there's a funny circumstance that happened with this buddy color. <laughs> I know Dusty's laughing. <laughs> we were supposed to do this page. And somehow I did this page. And I know why, because I, I had a different bookmark on here. Sometimes I'll put my bookmark on the opposite page just in case I do a, a background where that sticky, you know, might interfere and might leave a line. So I wound up doing the wrong page. <laughs> so you're going to see Dusty's page here in a second uh, where she did the correct page. And here's the page that I did. You're going to hear Shmoo in the background because he's making an appearance. Hi, Shmu. How you doing? And he's brought a ball in here, so <laughs> expect to hear that every now and then. All right, so I used Chroma Flow, and I started that on my coloring update uh, video that I had just put, put out. And I used Pit Artist pens here and some of the suckers, is that what we call them? <laughs> And I used the June 6 Distress Inks on the background. And I just dabbed some water, which took off most of the ink to create bubbles. Because, you know, he is an octopus, even though he's outside of water. So I kind of wanted to give, like, a sky but water feel. And then I used a Sparkle Pop on the belt and the fish and her headband and where else I used it to outline the tops of his tentacles yeah the belt buckle stuff and um, I also used a uh, gelato so the ink was more intense and then I calmed it down with uh, a white it's called coconut uh, Faber-Castell gelato so I went over all of that area to just kind of calm it down a bit. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun coloring this page. And I'm so sorry to Dusty that I colored the wrong one. <laughs> but I'm going to put mine to the side. And I'm going to show you hers. Hers turned out fabulous. I, I actually picked the page, which is the funny part, because I liked the bookcase. I love how she colored the girl and the octopus and all the books. Yeah looks terrific and thank you so much Dusty for coloring with me and putting up with my silliness <laughs> okay next one is Rabbit's Fairy Tale by Catoli and for this one Disney Meg and uh, Veronica Dunn on Instagram uh, we did this page together so Veronica jumped in this month uh, on our buddy color and let me just turn on the lights a little bit so I can get... There's a lot, a lot of metallic on this page, so I want to try to give you the best look at it. I used Galaxy um, watercolors, which were these. And that was for all the background, the purple 
And then the uh, lapis, so it was amethyst, lapis, sapphire, and then the tourmaline, jade, and peridot. So that is a gradient going up there. And then I used Prismacolors, Chromaflows, and various gel pens. So I used some Spectrum Noir metallic flip markers. I used some of the Pentel dual metallic brush markers and uh, Sakura jelly rolls. And what else did I use? I used some dollar store ones too. So let me just give you a look around. So all of these were based with watercolor, all of the elements. And then I went over with the pencils. And then inside here, I used my, see if I can get it out here, I got it tightly squeezed. <clears throat> I used the Glitterific uh, Fine Folk Art for inside the bubbles. And you can see those. And let's see, I used, I actually used a few of those. I used gel pens for most of the fish. And then I used a black glaze pen for these angelfish. And what else? Of course, I used white Posca for anything that looked bubble related. And turned this into an orca, which Disney Mag wound up doing too. And um, what else can I tell you about it? I just, I had a lot of fun. It just takes so much time. There's so many elements on this page. <laughs> and... Uh, I think by the time I was doing just the little elements here, I I was getting so tired. I wound up using a the Deco Art Galaxy glitter on the flags. So there's extra glitter action there. But yeah, I enjoyed doing this page. It's just, it was a lot. <laughs> and I think the other girls can attest to that too. But I do love all the metallics. It makes me happy to open open the book and see this page. So I'm going to push mine to the side and show you Disney Megs and Veronica's. They did a really fantastic job. Veronica, it was very nice to have you as part of our buddy color this month. She wants to uh, catch up on some pages for us. I am uh, trying to extend some of my buddy colors a couple of months out. The ones that I know just take me more time. We haven't picked a page yet, but I had asked for a couple of months if we could so that uh, I could get it done. I do have uh, my daughter's surgery and some of my own appointments to deal with in July. But yeah, aren't their pages terrific? Thank you so much, ladies, for buddy coloring with me. And I look forward to seeing what we do next. That is A Rabbit's Tail in Catoli. Next one is Bulls to Pools. And this is with uh, Lavella's Coloring and Colorful Diary, their hashtag. And we did this month one of my favorite pages so far which is these guys. <laughs> Look how cute they are. <laughs> so I used Prismacolor pencils, Indra Creative pastel pencils, and white acrylic. And I tried to get a, uh, a the look of a hair on there the best I could. I gave some sunlight shining from the sun up here. But th this was such a fun page. I enjoyed it so much. I gave them little highlights. And then I used Posca to try to make some water flow here and dot it up. Because I looked at a picture of these guys in the water. And there's lots of little water splashes all around them as they pitter-patter their feet around. <laughs> and their upper paws is so sweet. So yeah, that is my version of the Bulls to Pools by Art Therapy. And then next we have Woodland Kingdom Coloring Book, which uh, by Toshiyuki Fukuda, which I work in each month with a Sherry on Instagram and Jamie's Coloring Love. And this month we did this page. And for this page, I used uh, alcohol marker. I used my Ahuhus and I did that on my coloring update 
I showed you how I color those. And then I wound up using a, I believe it was one of these, the turquoise green. And then to follow that up, what I used was this turquoise extreme glitter over top. So you can see the shift. Yeah, it's, I think it turned out cute. This is Shmoo, by the way. I spent a little extra time on Shmoo. <laughs> but this is a really fun page. I had, it's always enjoyable to color in this book. It just, I don't know, makes me happy. And I used a Posca pen to get Shmoo's fur going. And some on the schnauzer. And then for the bow and the gem over here. So yeah, this was a... A great page to do and I'm gonna move mine to the side and I'm going to show you their pages it's funny because Sherry wound up doing a similar um, background color or uh, inside the circle <clears throat> and then Jamie did a different look which I love altogether it's always really interesting to see what each one of us comes up with for these and I appreciate you ladies so much for doing these buddy colors. We have a nice time in our chats. Thanks again, ladies, for doing this buddy color. I think we have one picked out for next month. So that'll be fun. All right, Tropogoth. This is my hashtag Tropogoth 2024. Hashtag on Instagram. And this month was what was it was this page so for tropogoth i used ahuhu alcohol markers and golden metallic markers no pencils just markers and metallics so i used metallics in these leaves here and up on the top here and then down here and then all of her outfit minus the spots is in uh, the golden golden marker. I decided to give her some like black velvety tights with the boots, thigh high boots. <laughs> and then also, what else did I did? I did a neon uh, background. It's not really showing up as neon, but it is a, let me see if I can get the neon to show. Not so much. It is actually brighter than that, but yeah, and then I did a little bit on her bracelets, and for her hair, I did a base of two colors, and then I used Posca, and then went over the Posca with the lighter color to give her the highlights. And then for the flower, I just did two different colors, and then I aligned it with the uh, golden marker, the pink one, if you can tell that that's pink. And then I have a little pink down here on the flowers in the center. Had a blast. And then I went to go look at the next page. And I had some of the her hair bled through. I had a plastic sheet behind it. And then I decided to go rogue. So since I saw I had messed it up already, what I did is I took the sheet, the plastic sheet, and I took my markers and I scrubbed them on to the plastic sheet. And then I have an alcohol uh, solution and basically like did a slight pour, got all the colors, did a slight pour. And then I flipped it over and put it on the page because I thought, oh, I'll make a really cool like watercolor effect. Well, this is how she turned out. <laughs> This is our next page, you guys, for July The with the snake. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I, I, I always believe that every page is salvageable. I could do that reverse effect where I put more color on here and then give a white outline and kind of make it a galaxy theme. The problem is... It's not just this page. Those colors bled on to these pages and smudged. This page I didn't get to. You all have already done. 
See, I thought it would do more of this kind of effect, and I thought that that would be fun. But, and then it affected last month's page up here on the top. You can see that there's lines, which it doesn't look half bad because it looks like there's sun shining through since it's a mermaid page. But you can see, yeah, what, <laughs> what it did here. See? And it bled onto this page, page two. And it bled on this page two. And it bled on that page too, but less. And then the rest seemed to be okay. I'm surprised it didn't get all in the spine and like ruin all of that. But this is what I was more or less going for. And it's hard for you to see. Let me turn it down. See, this little wash would have been nice. But that blue was stark that I used on her hair. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I must have had the... It slipped down when I was doing her hair. So let me turn the light back up. But yeah, that's Tropogoth. And this is the one we're doing for next month, if you can tell. And it's the one with the snake and her holding the skull. I have it on Instagram. All of my hashtags that I host, they are on uh, Instagram if you are needing to see. All right. That's the story behind Tropogoth. And then hashtag witch cat spooky. From the spooky book Sarah Sedgwick, we did this page. So for this page, I did Rosa Gallery watercolors. I had those out, so I used them in quite a few as base um, coloring. And then I used the QOR watercolors and Sparkle Pop Gold and then various uh, metallics, Pentel Duo metallics on here. And then... I used a glitter, fine glitter for this flower here. And then I used Ohuhu metallic markers for this. And then this is the Pentel dual metallic gold. And I made her a white cat this time since everything else was dark. So yeah, just was playing around and having some fun. So yeah, that's my spooky page for this month. And then for next month, we're going to go back to a bottle page. And that's this one. It's Admire the Enchanted Garden Terrarium. And I thought this one would be fun. So that's our page for July. Again, it's on Instagram at Christina's Art Corner. And then the last group buddy color that I host is Magic Jars by Coloring Heaven or Coloring Book Cafe Magic Jars. They both... Uh, emulate one another minus six pages. There's six, I believe, six different pages in here. So I'm always trying to pick ones that both it is in both books. I did happen to do on my completed pages for May. Um, I showed a bird page or duck page. I think I showed a duck page. I don't know how that happened either, guys. It's it's been a summer. <laughs> I'm so discombobulated and. Yeah, struggle bus. And I don't know how I wound up here. <clears throat> so if you did this page, I will still show it on my Instagram. Um, but this page, I did put a pinned comment under that completed pages video about it um, being the B page, just to clarify. But I think I got one ducky page. Um, so I do apologize to you that did the, that did do that page. Um, but yeah, this is the B page. And for this page, I did a hoo hoo and Copic markers. I started this on my updates uh, video. And then I use sparkling magical watercolors for the iridescent on the wings. So yeah, look, they're gold. And then lavender-ish, depending on the light. Pretty cool. And then I went with some greens. I took some Posca and I whited out the ends of the flowers on all of them. And then I did a glaze pen for the black portions of the bee. And then this is a combination of lavender, yellow, and two different browns. And for the center, I just left a little hint of the mystery that might be inside that beehive. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, I love how it turned out. It was awfully cute. And all of your pages have been terrific for Spooky, Magic Jars, and Tropogoth. And like I said, all of your colorings are going to be on Instagram. So look for them there. I just want to give everybody a chance. Oh, I should tell you what's, what's happening for July and get it right this time. So we're going to do this page. We've got an octopus with... Um, I wanted to say a kayak. <laughs> it's too early in the morning to be doing this. <laughs> Hammock. There we go. With some between some palm trees and we have this cute little turtle. Look how cute he is. And then we have a crab on top of a treasure chest and all the coral and stuff. So I thought since we're still in summer, we might as well do this page. Again, check out Instagram if you're ever questioning in the month which page it is. They're accurate there. <laughs> Okay, next page is from Fairy Tales, Emily Lida Hall Oberg. This is a group buddy color through Doodle Robot on Instagram. Let's see here, which page did we do? Well, I know I did it. <laughs> here it is. Okay. So let me turn down some lighting here so you can see it a little better, maybe. All right. There we go. Okay, so for this page, I wound up using, where's my notes? Okay, so I have Derwent drawing pencils in the buildings. I have Chromaflow pencils. So these are drawing up on uh, the roof pitches. I'd say most of the building is drawing pencils. And then there's some Chroma Flows mixed in there. And then Chroma Flow and Color Soft on the purple flower. And Chroma Flow on all of these. Chroma Flow, Chroma Flow. And then I have some Sparkle Pop. See if I can get it to where you can see. It's all over. here. I'm messing with my uh, lighting here. There we go. That's better. Um, you can see the gold in here and up on top the little the finials or cupolas and then down on the bottom here and I purposely left a white fence and yeah I loved doing this page. I have uh, gold glitter for this piece here on the ribbon and I really loved how these turned out down here I was struggling to find out what this was down here and I asked my fellow group members uh, and it's the book so arguably this is probably the edge of a leaf but I wound up ignoring that <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoyed this page. It was a lot of fun to color. The only thing that got me stuck was this portion over here. And I just really enjoyed the process of coloring. I used a little bit of black down here at the bottom of this flower. I edged, made some shadows with some um, black chroma flow. Yeah, I just had a lot of fun. I don't normally like to color a lot of flowers and I think I, think I did an okay job. What do you all think? <laughs> so that is Fairy Tales by Emily Lida Hall Oberg. And then Small Victories, Joanna Bassford. I wound up doing this page. And for this page, I did Rosa. Is that a mark of some sort? Let's see if we can get rid of it. Not sure what that was or what it is. Okay, so I used Rosa Gallery watercolor. That's what all of them are based in. And then the only pencil that I used was some touch-ups. And then to give it some grass, some cloud action. Bring you a little close so you can see the cloud action there. So yeah, I had a nice time. I didn't go crazy, you know, trying to make perfection out of this. I just wanted to 
have a nice look and um, you know all I really added to it was the clouds on top yeah so that was fun I enjoyed that a lot and I look forward to working in this book again the chroma flow um, that I used on here worked real well and I also had a Derwent drawing pencil in there to do some of the shadowing on the buildings so yeah, Joanna Basford, Small Victories. And then Draman Vanger by Thomas Loftomic. This was a body color with bubble of coloring. We normally do Sweet and Simple by Hannah Lynn, but we both weren't feeling it this month. So we just did this uh, page in here. <clears throat> and let me show you. Okay. So the page that we did was this one, threw a lot at this page. I did the Gold Faber Aqua Markers, the Chroma Flow Pencils, Prismacolor Pencils, um, Faber Castell, uh, the Coconut uh, White Gelato up here after I did pencil. And then I used um, Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pens in places. Um, I lined all of the wing, all of these lines here. All of these are Pitt Artist Pen. All of these lines here. And then I used uh, Posca and Sparkle Pops, of course. And I'll just give you a little closer in on this page there's quite a bit of glitter on the wings and then on I tried to match this over here so I did a gold border and then there's gold in the center of the flowers there's gold on the wings hopefully I'm tipping it so that you can see that and then um, both of us went with a pink horse funny enough um, but our wing area and hair is totally different. And I put gold in the crown and there's gold in the center of all of the flowers. So it's really nice to have a double page spread done in this book. Just tip it so that you don't get too much light shining in certain spots. But I'm going to move mine over and show you bubble of colorings. Hers is absolutely stunning and beautiful. We challenge each other. We kind of send progress updates on how we're doing. Some of these pages can be a struggle. Um, sometimes, you know, what is this? What is this area? <laughs> what do you think about this kind of thing? So, yeah, she has a fantastic page, and we enjoy challenging each other on these more difficult pages. Um, and the uh, paper is so nice to work on. There's absolutely no bleed through of any kind of anything that I used. And that's for either page. So we've both done these together. These pages. Wasn't her page beautiful? I love it. Absolutely stunning. We are going to do... Let's see, did I mark it? Let's see if I can remember. I know that it's with a, there it is. We're going to do these two pages. Yeah. So we have a creature over here with a um, fairy. And then we have a castle. So that's going to be fun, but that's a, that's a lot of detail. Once, once you know what works in these books, then, you know, you're pretty good to go. This was another one that I had done. Look at that bright, bright, bright colors. I do like a little slightly more muted and then some like color pops as we did this month. But yeah, thank you so much Bubble of Coloring for coloring with me this month. And I look forward to our next. Next one is Matchstick Mouse, A Big Adventure. I color this with uh, Tammy on Instagram and it's by Morgan O'Brien. And this month we did... This page, this page here, and for this one I used Rosa Gallery watercolor on this thin paper. <laughs> and 
And I also use Spectrum Noir Tri Blends uh, and also Posca and various glitter pens. And I love how it turned out. I did more of a gray mouse this time than the brown that I usually do. And I gave it some murky water. <laughs> and then I did a purple sky back here and I have glitter on the palm trees as you can see. And then I have a little glitter on top of the alligator crocodiles. And then I gave little wormy guy a really cool um, blanket. Fun colors. These are so much fun to do, aren't they? We're going to take a break um, for July because we both have quite a bit going on. And uh, we'll get back to it in August. Next one is Disney Portraits by Art Therapy. And this is with Dana's Coloring Obsession and Squishy Coloring. And this month we did Cheshire Cat. Disney Meg's letter was C, so we decided to do Cheshire. And I wound up using a Huhu acrylic markers, the dual ended, and some polychromos. Yeah, we just did some blending with the polychromos over the acrylic. And I tried to get rid of as much lineage as I could. So much fun. And then next month, we're going to do Pumba because her letter is P. And I'm going to put mine to the side and show you their Cheshire cats. Both of them turned out really cute. Thank you, ladies, so much for doing these buddy colors. It's so much fun to work out of these Disney books because it's almost like a breath of fresh air, like, okay, I can just have fun with this and I don't have to worry about, you know, it's self-inflicted perfectionism, <laughs> which arguably plenty of my pages this month did not have that in it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so thank you ladies for the buddy color and looking forward to doing our next one. And as per usual, I forgot to put this in here. I cut them down to size. And then I started in Happy Catastrophes, um, Alien Worlds Data Report hashtag on Instagram. And so with this book, I had an Alien Worlds that I did before. And I wanted the spiral bound and to start over so that I could be on the journey with everybody. And everybody has a name. So mine is Captain Rainbow Shimmer of the AV, which is Art Vessel Metallic Horizon. I think I've called myself Sparkle sometimes. <laughs> you never know what you're getting with me some days, honestly. It just really depends. So for this one, um, I didn't write down what I used, funny enough, but I do believe I used Prismacolor and Chromaflow. I also used... Um, where are they? I used this, but in the blue, the Uniball Signo. And my ship, I have some purple. I gave us some uh, colorful blasters here and the Aurora Borealis. And then um, I did a like smudging of colors here. I've got some neon pink in here just to give it some interest. And uh, I did all of this. I had a Karen neon marker that I used for all of this portion. And then I just followed the neons into here and put a little extra stuff on there. But that's my first one that I've done. And I should move on to this page because I really did want to go in order. But I'm thinking I want to at least get to this double page spread at the least if not even this one, and then go back and fill in the others. So yeah, so I'm not too, too far behind as far as things go. So we'll see that's on the plans for July. And it's go at your pace, no pressures. You don't have to keep up with anybody. It's just whenever you find time and you want to. The chat is pretty active, so if you ever want to chat about a page or anything else, they're willing to do that with you. So the next one is A Million Llamas by Lulu Mayo, and this one is a whip. 
I used my Chromaflow pencils for this page. And let me just turn down. It felt sometimes it's just so bright here and then darker over here. Um, and I used a little bit of Derwent drawing pencils as well. I like the combination of the Derwent Chromaflow uh, drawing and Pro Colors. I like those combinations and I went with a more subtle effect. So that's a whip that's going to go in my whip pile. And then the next thing that you're going to see is my granddaughter making her appearance. So I hope you enjoy. I know everybody enjoys that portion of the video especially. So I'll go ahead and self outro here. Thank you so much to everyone who buddy colored with me, who participated in the group buddy colors. Again, I'll put, you know, a little uh, slideshow or whatever I can do on Instagram to show all of your pages. I appreciate so much seeing all of your beautiful pages that you color from my hashtags. And uh, we'll see what July brings, right? Um, I'm sending you peace and love and good health. And here's my granddaughter. Okay, guess who is ready on deck? Hello. It's Sweetie. Sweetie Pie. My granddaughter is here. We have a couple of buddy colors and then she has a few things that she'd like to show that she did over the month. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So we're going to do Magical Chibis out of Alexandra Francis. Yeah. Travel size. Travel size. The best size. Wait, which one did we do? Jesus. Wait, which one did we do this month? I just totally it's forgot. not a surprise if I tell you. <laughs> right. Well, oh wait. If I show you. <laughs> they, they like the reactions. They yes. Okay. okay. Ready? Three. Two. One. <gasps> Ooh, wow. Oh, look at yours. I love the phoenix. This is beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Yours is Fiona Power. Well, that's, not, fire. that's not her name. The, so her name is Fiona from Shrek. Very, very, yes. famous, very famous. Yes, <laughs> and she has the like the the blue fire power. Ooh. I use color gel pen, Oohu markers, and the skinny Oohu markers. That that Tammy got you. Yes, that Tammy yes. got me. I put I went in with some glitter for the dress. I just went in with multiple greens. So when I was coloring her skin green. Mm -hmm. It was not the shade I was expecting, so I'm like, oh, no, it's good. I beat you so much her dress. Oh. <laughs> but no, you did a great I job. I, I don't know her what her color her eyes. I didn't check, but I smell like blue. Because I, I think know. she does. Is she? I don't know. It's brown. That's a, maybe, maybe. That is an awesome job. Thank you. Let me tell you how much trouble I had with mine. Oh, boy. Okay. I love the back. I love all your backgrounds you do. Thank the you. Phoenix is probably my favorite, though. Well. Oh, no. Firstly. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's bleed through. Oh. Even though I had a cover sheet. But oh. I started off, I sat at my desk, and I have my Ohuhu and Copic markers. When I color in bed, I have my Cali Art markers. Yeah. My Ohuhus are juicier. Quite a few of them are newer. Ooh. And so bleeding is a thing, <laughs> especially on Amazon paper. Oh boy. So I'm outside the lines a little bit. I was going to put a washi and forgot. But I started I feel out. Like sometimes washi doesn't help though. Yeah. It still bleeds. I start out with the face. I love the blush. Which was fine until I did gray hair to base the black. Oh, okay. And it went all into her face. Oh, it did. Yes, and so I had to put acrylic over here, and then I had to put the alcohol marker over and then use a little blush, so the face is not exactly how it's supposed to turn out. <laughs> and then on the dress, we bled a little into the neck, we bled a little into the legs. Oh. <laughs> oh For me, that wouldn't have been a problem because the whole, she's, whole, she's green. Yes. The whole thing, she's green. I want to yeah. do her in her ochre form because, I mean, so the second Shrek, or one of the Shrek movies, mm -hmm. it's not the first one, but mm -hmm. it's one of them. She has her, like, her, like, her, like, warrior, yes. <laughs> her warrior form. Yes. She has her hair down. And so, like, this is reminding me. Because recently, I watched the movie, I'm like, hey, let's pick this page because it reminds me of Fiona. 
Yeah, that was a great idea. I also used the fluorescents, which you don't usually get to use mm -hmm. in uh, the marker. So I used fluorescent yellow, orange, and red. And then on her dress, I have two colors here, and then I have just a dollar store gel pen on the yeah. dress. It's very pretty. It's pretty dress. All over. And then I just decided to put dots all over the place. And mm -hmm. I, my background had bled into other things too, but I, I tried to save it. I love the shading. I always love the shading. Thank you. Um, whenever I thought of blue fire, I thought the stove. Because whenever I see someone cooking on the stove, yes. there's blue fire. So what I thought I'd do is I did the blue, uh -huh. right? I got some glitter there with yes. Phoenix. I love Phoenixes. And then what I thought I would do is I would add that orange glitter yes. to make it look like the fire. Oh yeah, absolutely! You did an amazing job. I Thank love you so much, and Probably it's very funny because we both we both put glitter yeah in the same spots. So I don't know if you can see, my, I did. I I wasn't supposed to be that color. It was supposed to be lighter. Yeah, but it, it's cool. I like it. Yeah. Well, awesome. I still gotta finish this mermaid. The pork thing. She's like, hey. Pork thing is hanging out hey, and not getting fully colored. You gotta finish me soon. Like, oh, I will. All right. Oh, next one. Annie Day. Oh, I. This is. I love this one. Yes. And I love this one. Okay, Annie Day, and, and we, we do this right behind. We do this buddy color with uh, Tammy of Instagram. This one I did kind of messed up, but it's okay because it, it's not that bad. Okay. Three. Ready? Three. Two. One. <gasps> oh, I Ooh. love the yellow and the purple. Oh, look at how colorful yours is. Thank you. Here, we'll put oh, them right baby. next to each other. So at first, I, okay, don't tell you the terrible I went with through with this Okay, one. all right. So I asked you through message. Yes. Hey, Grammy, what colors do you think I should do through, like, like, like sunset. That, sunset? And she gave me orange, red, and yellow. Yes. And I'm like, Okay, I like those. In my head, I'm like, what if I add blue to it? Uh -huh. Because I, the sky. Yes. I mean, people say, what color is the sky? Blue, but it's actually clear. The sky's not blue, it's clear. <laughs> it's reflection. I, it's a whole thing. But I, this time, I did go with the, the just left it white. Uh huh. Um, I did her whole eye blue. So when I did the sunset, I was trying to get shading. Uh huh. So I don't know if anyone can see, but same thing I did last time. I did the yellow glitter. Color it. Yes. Gel pen. Yes. And I did the nose. Mm -hmm. I did the outfit somewhat. Mm -hmm. And I did her arm. Yes. And at first, I was going to make the picky pink. Uh huh. But then I did it because I messed up. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make the picky brown. Cause yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's very really cute. I love it. I love it's it. It's so good. I love all of your and colorful And I want to fit her um, headpiece to uh -huh. match. Um, her apron. Uh huh. And I love what I would do with the apron. At first, it wasn't gonna look like that, but then I did some shading. It's very pretty. And then thank you. Um, every time I do these, um, I like to. I didn't think I did it with this. Yeah, I did. I like to go over with marker because this one, this was when I did marker and colored pencil. Uh huh. This one I went with just marker and pens. Okay. And so when I'm done, I like to um overline it with the black. Yes. Because it just makes it easier. Because if I if bleed if through, you bleed over, yeah. But I really enjoyed coloring. It was super fun. Yeah, I wound up using um, actually Rosa Gallery watercolors oh. to base everything. That's why this uh, looks like watercolorish. It's still pretty, I like it. And then I used uh, I believe Prismacolors over the top. I had a bleed a little bit here um, on one of my watercolors. I was taking the watercolor over my page instead of doing it right next to it. Um, so yeah, that's all I did. Nothing too extravagant, but I wanted to try to see if I could do watercolor on Amazon paper. It crinkled a little bit, but it's not too bad. Yeah. It's just so fun. It's textured. Yeah. And Whenever I pick, wait, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> Whenever we pick the, I, we pick these pages, uh -huh. um, I swear the day right after we did the like we did the video, yes. I colored them. Uh -huh. they were, they were, this one took a few days because I had to ask for your opinion. Yes. But this one, this one was done within two days. Yes. Month. All right. So you show all the extra things that you did. Extra. So extra. these I used Oohoo markers from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. 
very I, I use them every day yes so these you gave me I think um, mm -hmm. yes. so the first one is based off Spirited Away okay. I forget her name I don't know that was that was your mom's movie that's for yeah. sure but she's the girl from Spirited Away. Okay. Oh, look at those highlights. Yeah, I, I learned that from watching anime and stuff. Yeah. But this one, I didn't fin get to finish because I was stuck. I didn't know what that was. I knew this was like a rope. Or was it? Uh-huh. It's st hard to tell sometimes. I was stuck, but I tried to do her outfit because I looked her out, like looked her up and saw her outfit. Uh-huh. It ended up looking like a watermelon. I think her it's skirt, cute. Her skirt's a watermelon. I think it's but really cute. I try to try not to put too much of the all red in, but I do uh -huh. I do like it. I make sure to add that purple scrunchie mm -hmm. in the end of the movie, and then in the beginning she has a red scrunchie, so I put that on. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get to finish it yet, though, but I did do the highlights in her hair. Beautiful, huh? Thank you. This next Ooh. one. I love this one. Oh, there's a story behind this one. Okay. So I was coloring this one. I wanted her hair to really pop. And mm -hmm. my favorite color is blue, so I did. But it bled through. But I have probably my favorite part. But whenever I got a marker on my thumb. Yes. And I grabbed this. And oh. Then, and my fingerprint ended up being. That's okay. She's sun she sunburned. <laughs> she did, she's sunburned. <laughs> her okay. shoulder was out in the sun too much. <laughs> yeah. And then I. Um, the, Look at those eyes. The, yeah, the eyes are my favorite part, probably. Very pretty. Thank you. Um, I did that one. This, this next one, I love this one. I like the, the overalls and the, the purple. Oh, yeah. That's this one really I cool. The song, I love song. You I, did a really nice job. Thank you. Very good. Oh, this sweet. was the very first one I did. It went very schoolgirl. I didn't get to finish this one either. Yeah. But I very much love this one. You have to, because the, the light is um, shining on... On the paper, you have to tilt it a little bit, otherwise, see, it fades out. Yeah. You tip it just a little bit. For the camera only. <laughs> we get to see it in live action. I love how you colored the flowers, too. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> this one, I love this one. It's space themed, and I love space. Oh, cute. I feel like I've seen something like this before, like a jacket like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. That's fun, huh? I, d I did very detailed with the planets and the. You have always liked to color fashion items. Yeah. Since you were very little. Very much so. Yes. Oh, this one. This I love this one. This is neon. Oh. I love this one. I We've got some eighties eighties theme. Yes. <laughs> Stranger Things. Okay. And what does it say on there? Dance like no one is watching. All right. That's think, really good. In huh? the background, I'm probably gonna have one bold, darker color to make everything pop. Yeah. That's and then, lots of fun, hon. Huh? Thanks. I'm and gonna, you gave her some blue highlights. I did. I gave her some blue hair highlights. Ooh. Oh, this Ooh. one's my favorite. Ooh, I love. So I did finish this one. I just didn't want to put it like the sky because it was pretty. As it is. I really made it. And this is my favorite one. Oh, I love the um, border. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and she's got a glittery top. Yep. I, this is love, love it. Probably the second one I did. I, it's my You're favorite. doing amazing at these. Do you have many left? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have lots left. Okay. That's gorgeous, hon. Thank you. But well, that's lots of fun. I did those. Looks like you are enjoying doing those. The markers is what made me really want to do these. Yeah. I love those markers. Now, do we did, what, did, what did we couple do? A couple of days ago. A couple of days ago, we did the... um. These, like we did, we showed them how how we did them. Yes, creatures. We did the creatures thing. Art generating prompt cards. Yep, we, cho we chose. And my three, well, my five cards. Uh-huh. So I got an orca, a whale. I got a whale, but yes. I chose an orca. Okay. Lately, I've been, like, loving orcas more. Yeah. They're, they're awesome. I got a penguin, and then I got a caterpillar. Mm-hmm. At first, I didn't know what to do. I just, I just, just... I didn't know, but then I ended up doing an orca, and the kind of... Which you watched a tutorial. I watched three tutorials. To, to do, yeah. To do. The penguin was probably, well, no, two, because I didn't do the caterpillar. I just did... Yeah, you did the caterpillar on your own, which yeah. is really cool, by the way. Thank you. I, I kind of like how it looks. And the penguin is standing on the caterpillar. caterpillar. In the caterpillar. Oh, oh. The cat it's a giant caterpillar, oh. bigger than the orca, and it, um... Like a I snake, gotcha. A snake like swallowed something whole. Yes. <laughs> so the caterpillar is like, oh, <laughs> Ooh, a penguin. 
and uh, she used the magical sparkling watercolor. I loved it. They were so fun to twiddle like around. See if you the can. glitter was so pretty. Yeah, I'm just obsessed. I even put some glitter on the orca um white part. Uh huh. That's beautiful, honey. Thank you. I, I loved experimenting job. with the cat. It was so fun. It was so yes, fun. we like to do these art prompts because sometimes we don't have the ideas in our head at so the moment. So those are my animals. The detail was ten legs. Yes. Ha um, I, I think I have more than you can't see because yes. it's so light. Yeah. But I think we I pencil have, drew first. Yeah, I ended up not uh, going over with sharpie or something. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of legs here. Yeah. <laughs> It turned out great. And then the habitat was a national park, which... We didn't do. I didn't We do. didn't have time. We, we basically decided to do this like Last 45 minute. minutes before you had to leave. Yeah. And uh, so we didn't get to do every bit of it, but yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So what else did you do? Last, but definitely not nice. least. This one also has a story behind it. Sort of. Okay. Kind of. So this one, I really wanted to ha make another one, but I wanted to make it like... I didn't watch, well, I did watch a tutorial, but at the same time, I didn't. This one, I think I did it hand-free. I didn't watch a tutorial for this one, because I learned, but it's different. Because you already used. But it's different from the, this one, from the body shape, because this one's more, ooh, this one's more. However, I, like the fin, I kind of wish I did it a bit bigger, but it's okay. So, beautiful. Let me see, because I was messing with the lighting. I did differently. Because um, the lighting, let me just show Oh, actually, I did do a tutorial for this one, but I added my own like, specialness to it. That's cool. So I used a Nohu black marker to add the black part. Uh-huh. Um, the eye, I did my own. I was looking for names for for her, and I'm like, ooh, Orchid. That's a because Orca the... Yeah. Orchid the Orca is so yes. cute. I loved it. And I wanted to go with blue. I, what I did is I grabbed um, some string, uh -huh. and I gently wrapped it around the loop like a book, uh -huh. and I did that. That's so cool, huh? I used a white, it's like, it's like a Posca, but it's not. Okay. Um, I'm sure you have An acrylic white pen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Something like a Posca, but yeah, it wasn't Posca. Something exactly yeah. like that. But and I, so I colored that for the belly because I didn't want it to look too white. I wanted it to look uh -huh. more like that. Yes. Uh, and it covered up the dots, too. Yes. Because it's dog paper. Mm hmm But um, I looked up ways, to, like, different ways to draw names. And I'm like, wow, this is cool. So I got washi tape. Uh-huh. I put it like this. And I what I did was, um, for example, uh -huh. white. I had the washi tape, so uh -huh. I took this, and I drew with a who marker uh -huh. over the tape. And I... Um, oh, okay, I got you. And sure. then I took the washi tape off gently, mm -hmm. and I did a little... <laughs> I should have went black marker over this, so it's easier to see. Yeah. Um, oh, and I, I made sure it. I put Orca next, so it's easier to know if her name was Orchid. So you're learning how to do lettering, too, fun lettering. Yep. You're um, learning all kinds of stuff. And I hang stuff in my room. It's beautiful, hon. Thank you. And that's very show tail. <laughs> very, very beautiful. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us thank and you. Uh, seeing all of our goodies for the month. Yep. And then um, and next month, uh, Sweetie is going on some vacation. So did we decide if you were going to be here at the end of the month? Um, not this. Wait, I don't know. Especially I think we might not be coloring for July. Probably not. Right. I won't, because I probably won't have time to. And yeah. There's so much to carry. Yeah. 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 But definitely, um... So you'll see us back in August together. Yes. 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 And uh, we'll plan what we uh, want to do then. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody. Thank well, you. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was thinking uh -huh. that we could, I, I would do two because I had an idea for... Because it's 4th of July. So I can do two pages. One for July when I come back from vacation and one for August because um, yeah. I can do one of the girls uh -huh. in July colors. Well, okay. Then, yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. We'll announce something and I'll let everybody know. But thanks again. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye. Happy coloring. Have a great summer.